Hey there everybody, welcome back. So today we're going to take a look at <clears throat> probably the most popular of the first outdoor herbivore uh, sort of reveal there is the Waldorf salad. I don't think that there was a person that wasn't interested in seeing this one. Uh, and I was gonna kind of hold off and just, you know, flip between different, but nah, we're, we're just gonna, we're gonna hit it off. We're gonna do Waldorf salad. It was the most interesting one I think that I picked up from the site. And most people agreed. You guys are normally going to, uh, at least most of the viewers, we normally agree on a lot of stuff because we, we seem to have similar tastes, although there are a couple of you. A couple of you that don't always agree with me, and that's of course wrong. Don't you know what day and age you're living in? Nah, I'm just kidding. It's all good. Uh, but yeah, I try and give you guys a variety. <clears throat> and I don't see many channels talking about Waldorf salad. So in order to kind of understand Waldorf salad, because this is something that like, like a grandma or a great grandma would bring to like a Christmas or a Thanksgiving that maybe people would eat, but probably not. But I mean, like traditionally a Waldorf salad is, is essentially a fruit and nut salad, maybe maybe served over actual lettuce. That's not always the case, but uh, you know, like apples, grapes, celery, walnuts, or some sort of nut, pine nut. Um, I'm trying to think, I think I've also seen pecans uh, in there as well, and, and a couple of other fruits, maybe pears, um, <clears throat> you know, light colored fruits. And then, <sighs> normally with mayonnaise so dressed with mayonnaise and I don't know I, I did not look at what was in this beforehand so we're gonna figure it out together but let's just check it out so it is a vegan uh, fruit and nut salad it's made with eggless dressing so an eggless mayonnaise that's not unnatural there a US East Coast favorite. I suppose that's probably true. Very little water required here, so we're really gonna undersell the water. Um, but it's cold water, no boiling. This is a cold salad. So here's our ingredients list. Ra ugh, raisins, I hate, uh, that's another one that's in there because grapes, yeah, grapes, raisins, I guess I'd rather have grapes, whatever, it is what it is. Raisins, walnuts, sunflower seeds, apples, soy milk, okay. Ground turbinata sugar, lemon, mustard, par mustard, okay, parsley, okay, sea salt, black pepper, olive oil, packet. Okay, so they're separating the oil. <clears throat> um, no celery at all, that's interesting. Okay, dang, look at the calories on that. 720 calories, what? What? Okay, fine. 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 Um, wow. Okay. A lot of vitamin C, too. Let's open her up and see what she looks like. Okay. And did I actually break through? Yes, I did. There we go. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. It's okay. Packeted. Okay. There's our old, old olive oil packet. Um, and this is packeted as well. That looks interesting. Let's try our best not to just dump this all over the table. Not a great rip. That did the job. Oh, and I still got some on the table. That's, that's grand. Good job. <laughs> just, just sweep that out of camera view. Okay. Well. Yeah, raisin. I'm getting a lot of, lot of raisin. So let's go ahead and add some cold water here. Again, we're not looking to overdo it. Just kind of effectively make the dressing, and I might have overdone it there. <sighs> Me overdo water? No, I would never do that. Probably did. Okay, lots of nuts. 
big old apple pieces there. Not a ton of apples so far. And then <clears throat> I'll just add the olive oil packet in there as well. As our sort of emulsifier, maybe. Seeing as it is eggless. And then we'll let this set <clears throat> for a little bit just to mainly get the apples. Yeah. Get the apples to where they should be. They stay ready in five minutes. Uh, I can believe that. We'll probably leave it five or so. So yeah, let's uh, let that sit, tighten up, and we'll be right back. Let's go ahead and get our Waldorf salad out. It does uh, seem to have thickened up a little bit here. So yeah, it's thickened up a bit. It's still a little little runny. Uh, I did not add like much water at all. I know I didn't or, uh, add a quarter cup or excuse me a third a cup though. I did not add that much, so I'm a little, whatever, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, it doesn't look bad. Let's go ahead and just try and get a flavor of everything here. Those apple chunks almost look like chicken, don't they? <laughs> Hmm. The olive oil is a little too overpowering for this. I threw away the packet. If you're going to, I mean, obviously, we know this is eggless. So they have to have some fat in there for the emulsification. If you're going to do that, use like a light olive oil. Because olive oil, extra virgin olive oil has taste. And it's a good taste, but when you're trying to do like a sweet salad, for me, that wouldn't have been my first choice. So you can do like a light olive oil. Um, but I can taste it like right off the bat. It's a little too, it's too much. It's too much. Um, but it's not bad. You know, it's nice and crunchy with the nuts. I just want to try an apple. <laughs> That's funny. The apple just disintegrates in your mouth. But they are a uh, kind of like a nice tart apple. And then there's just a ton of sweetness with the raisin. There's a little saltiness in there too. Um, overall, <clears throat> it's not bad, but I keep going back to it, which is kind of funny. I would definitely eat this without any issues. It's fresh. It's very different from anything else ration based. There's a ton of, you know, there's a ton of protein, you know, a little bit of sweetness. The raisins aren't super overpowering or anything, but again, it's just like that initial first kick, that olive oil. That just, just a little off-putting in the beginning. I think there are people that would really like this. And I think there are people that would really hate it. 
If it were me, I'd probably try and add in some more fruit. I understand why you do the raisins, that's fine. Instead of grape halves or whatever. But like, get some pears. Give me some different different fruits in here. Um, and then yeah, you gotta swap out the extra virgin with like some sort of light, light olive oil. So it's not just necessarily imparting its taste over it. I'm trying to mix it a little bit better too, because like, <clears throat> you know, traditionally, if you're making an eggless mayonnaise, you're gonna wanna blend it, which isn't necessarily possible here. And I think if we, if, if we were able to actually blend that uh, dressing a little bit better, it, it, might, it might take away some of that upfront flavor, but that's just very hard in a package or in a bowl, you know, so is what it is, but. It's nice though, it's different, it's fresh, something out of the ordinary. So, I don't know, something you might wanna try, not sure, but if you do, Check out Outdoor Herbivore. They have a lot of different stuff up there and their pricing is uh, its not bad. It's not bad at all. So anyway, there we go. Waldorf Salad Outdoor Herbivore. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, hit the old like button. Make sure to comment down below. And if you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscription button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. Hit the bell too if you want notifications because if you don't, YouTube won't just let you know. So, all right, folks. Well, that was it for today. Uh, again, I hope you enjoyed, and we'll catch you down the road. See ya.